What is up, everybody? It's Easy Easy Street Gaming. Bring another Brutal Age video. Not a four star partner guide. I'm gonna take the day off on that. We had the event going on, so we had some limited partners to spin off. And I just wanted, I know people have done this before. And I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that you're not alone. The rest of the video, we're gonna, we're gonna go through some ranked matches and uh, show what everyone should be doing if you lose a ranked match to get right back on the horse again. And change some partners around, make some adjustments, and try to go win that match. It's way better than, than moving on, unless you just know you can't win. But before we do, check this out. This is, was me spinning the turtles. I think this was a times 10. I just knew I was going to lose. And then at the very last second, it turns purple. I get all excited. And it starts exposing what they were. And I get the tusk. Yep, the tusk. Which is fine. Um... Uh, if you don't have one already that you use <laughs> that wasn't him by the way that was just a little there he is <laughs> not one to complain I, I, I get excited uh, every time I see purple uh, since I started playing this game anyway so we got a new partner I got some I got a replay of her I did not expect her to be a really impactful player even after I read all of her her skills all I read all nine of them so None, none of them really jumped out at me, although I think everyone thought Green had a chance because of the action bar. But now that I'm watching her in gameplay, uh, wow, uh, she's really strong. So I'm not going to go through every single part of the partner. It's not really an official guide or anything. But I am going to just break down a few of the, the attacks that she does so everyone can get your first peek at her. And in this ranked match, this is going for number one. This is someone from, I think it's server 160, versus someone from 323 Beast. And her name is Icy Dust, Duch, Duchess. Spit it out easy. And a uh, powerful partner that uses the mark system, and the and she reduces the action bar. The first skill she has is called Ice Bomb, and it, it gives these glacial marks to the opponent, who, to whoever she's attacking. And once they get five of them, they're, they're frozen. And, and just keep your eye on, every time that someone attacks her, and watch what happens, the second skill is uh, the, the, called Freezing Wind, and she basically zeroes out their action bar once she, she attacks and does damage and all that good stuff. Uh, the third one, third skill is called, is, is a passive skill, it's called Frostbite, and uh, Frostbite is every time someone attacks her, they automatically get two of these, of these glacier marks against them, and once they get five built up, then they get frozen. So it's kind of like a date with a, an ice cube. <laughs> so here's my challenge I had to go and deal with my nemesis in this game which is the double the double ghost the double nomad team and any of those combinations if there's two ghosts I don't like them this this time it's two max ghosts and two maxed two maxed uh, red nomads so I got distracted I thought I was gonna be able to do something with with the green ghost have the green ghost go down early hurt everybody and then I have some some pretty big damage out of uh, out of mr. daggers and then I have a healer that I just added a bunch of levels to which is the blue Ursa and then of course you have the newer partner uh, Rockwell which he's the reviver and uh, the shielder so I thought you know this is gonna work but I went the opposite way that I should have and I'll show you what I mean here in a second first tip of 2021 you knew it was coming and it's gonna go real real slow just the opposite of normal I told myself I'm gonna slow it down in 2021 slow it down pay attention to everyone all right so if you lose a close match and you feel like you had a chance in it but you just didn't quite get it make sure you change your partners around and keep on attacking them it's, it's a much better strategy than to move on because especially if you're a newer player you don't really know what went wrong you don't know why you lost Sometimes it takes two or three losses in a row to realize, oh, that's what I did wrong. It's much better to attack the same th uh, four partners than to, to move on and have to deal with other partners altogether. And it might just be your team's not very good. And you might have to get a bunch of uh, reps to see that. Because you might think that, that they work well together, but they don't. Just like I thought of this team. This team right here could have been great if, uh, if they worked well together. They didn't. I think that's the first shield that Rock that Rockwell did the whole time, and then he then he made the Green Ghost Immortal, as he revived him, 
And if you're wondering, the Green Ghost has that has the death damage where he gives everyone that cloud, but he does not do it over and over again. So we have to go down. I think it's for for mine. I think it's eight rounds. He has a CD of eight rounds. You can get that CD reduced a little bit, but still, mine is still way up there at eight rounds. So he has to be gone for a long time before he gets to do some more of that death damage. And then Rockwell is not exactly your prime, your your superstar to be the last person standing. So we went and made a few changes. Not, not too much, but a few changes. What I did was I traded Ghost right away. So that, now I have two revived partners in there instead of just one. And the Green Ghost is going to have to sit on the bench for a while. And then I took out the, the Healer and the Big Damage Doer with, with, with Daggers. And I put in two team-based damage specialists. Especially the, especially the Red Guard Earth. I had no idea how good she was going to be once she got close to maxed out and maxed out. She's powerful now with the two ghosts. You got to take them both out together You you, you want to do team damage on these guys. You're not gonna be able to take them out one at a time They'll just keep on Basically as soon as you kill one the other one will bring it back in and if you kill everything But one the, the last ghost standing will put the, put another ghost standing, and the other ghost will put someone else in and you'll just you do that all day long So make sure you use team damage whenever you have to deal with more than one ghost Really, I think anytime you have a ghost at all you have to you should have someone with, with some team damage and last battle I thought I thought the green ghost was going to be able to help with the, with the, the exit damage. He he couldn't, and then really um, all three of my picks kind of choked. So oh well, next time. But now I think I got kind of lucky and I and I got Rockwell at the, one of the last events, and he's the revive and a shielder. So now I can use him and the ghost. And kind of give them a taste of their own medicine. I've been dealing with these double ghost, double nomad teams forever, it seems like. And now I think I have something that I can combat them with. They're doing pretty well so far. And really what it is, is that they just have to keep keep every, everyone going and let the Red God of Earth get her rounds in. Because eventually she'll get one good uh, uh, critical rate hit and she'll just wipe the whole team out. She'll do like 15,000 damage for everyone apiece. And that should be just about all she wrote for it. And now they're all they're they've all gonna take their turn on the, the red ghost. He's gone. Finally. Even, even with all that, they, they still took a while. So you're gonna see that that team a lot. If you're a newer player, just remember team damage. That that's the best way to beat them. If you're a more experienced player, I'm sure you've already started to work on your second ghost or or tried to take a swing at the Rockwell. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little different. I want to try to switch it up every once in a while. So I will see everyone in the next video. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care.